Smash Drunk. Last week, Nintendo Switch Online added a new Super Nintendo title, Kirby Superstar Stacker, and the best way I can describe this game is, it's a Super Nintendo version of Kirby Star Stacker for Game Boy. This is your classic single-screen falling block puzzle structure, with the goal being to earn as many stars as possible by matching pairs of blocks, or really, just sandwiching as many stars as you can in between two matching blocks until you collect enough stars to clear the screen. The version on Switch Online is all in Japanese, which is fine, you don't need to know Japanese to play this, but there's there does exist a fan-made patch that translates the game to English that I'm going to be using here just to show you the menu and the game modes. Thanks to THE Dana Adams for providing that. The first option here brings you all the different game modes, the second enters your name so you can save your progress and your scores, and I should mention quickly that the language on the screen can be changed. Hit the R button twice to switch to English. The third option is a tutorial you can watch to learn how to play, and the fourth is a scoreboard. In game modes, the first option is endless or high score, the second option is round by round where you clear a certain number of stars, the third option is the single player story mode, fourth option is versus a second player, and the fifth option is time attack, getting the highest score in three minutes. The gameplay is real simple, this is an easy game to get the hang of, and that makes it more of a chill playthrough rather than having veins in your head blow out from stress from playing something like Tetris Attack. Kirby Superstar Stacker is a nice counterpart to that game, it's a bit easier and more forgiving, but it still has a similar addictive quality to Tetris Attack, where once you start seeing combos you can create, then it gets hard to put down. I will say the story mode does get pretty dang difficult if that's your thing, the final boss is no joke. The story mode is all in Japanese, but the basic gist is that King did Dee Dee plays target practice and shoots down a star, so you gotta go collect stars, hence the star motif and all that. It's not terribly interesting, but it does have some nice looking artwork. In fact, the pieces themselves are Kirby's friends from Kirby's Dream Land 2, there's Rick the Hamster, Koo the Owl, and Greg the Bunny, and I only made one of those up. But yeah, the gameplay is exactly like Kirby Star Stacker for Game Boy. You might have played that one when it was on the 3DS Virtual Console. And this is pretty much the same thing, just with more game modes. It's a little bit Kirby's Avalanche or Puyo Puyo, it's a little bit Dr. Mario, and it's a little bit something of its own entirely. So, where was this game all this time? Well, it was originally made in February 1998 by HAL Laboratory as Kirby no Kirakira Kids for the Nintendo Power Flash Cartridge. Yes, that's right, in Japan from late 96 all the way through 2007, Nintendo offered a service that allowed folks to download Super Famicom or Game Boy titles onto a flash cart offered through Nintendo Power Magazine. I guess you could say it was Nintendo's answer to the Sega Channel, just on a smaller scale. It rolled out plenty of well-known games on this service, like F-Zero and SimCity, but also extra puzzles for games like Mario Picross. Kirby Superstar Stacker did eventually get a physical cartridge release in June of 1999, but only in Japan. So yeah, this is just a quick video explaining what this game is and how to navigate around those menus, but even in Japanese, Kirby Superstar still translates well. It's one of the most chill, easygoing falling block games I can remember playing, and if that's what you're looking for, then it's definitely worth playing today. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.